uh, with which I work most closely. This is called Wikimedia Community User Group Malta. Some facts about it, we are based in Valletta, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, the official languages of Malta are Maltese, which is a Semitic language. We'll go to that in, in a minute. This is one of the connections uh, with North Africa, uh, of course, uh, but also English. Uh, so again, uh, another interesting connection here with many African nations is the colonial history, in the case of Malta, at least throughout the 19th century and most of the 20th century, uh, is uh, as a British uh, colonial base. Uh, it is a registered NGO, or rather a voluntary organization, so this is it's not a, a casual group that is beholden perhaps to someone else, even as a fiscal sponsor or anything like that, when it comes to organizing these things. It's fairly independent. Thank you. And it's been around as an affiliated user group of the Wikimedia Foundation since 2016. So it has a little bit of, of longevity perhaps as well there. Uh, interestingly, for example, for what it's worth, uh, the user group uh, is one of the founding members of Wikimedia Europe and I personally also am a member of the steering committee of the Central and Eastern Europe Hub, the CEE Hub. Some of you perhaps even in this room yesterday were in the session with Jop and Seal about hubs and heard uh, Philip Kopetsky talk about that. That's who I work with uh, most, most closely. We only have one employee who works part-time with us, one day a week. So we, we don't have, you know, uh, exceptional capacity, but we have about five uh, regular volunteers, myself included, who, who work within the group uh, fairly fairly regularly. In case you're wondering, the population of Malta is about half one million. So it's about 500,000. And about 20,000 of those uh, 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 people who live in Malta are recent, that is to say in the last 20 years or so, immigrants from Africa. Uh, so, so some of these uh, things are what prompted what prompted uh, us to propose uh, some of the things that we already do are also things that uh, many of uh, the affiliates in Africa are also uh, engaged in. For example, you know, every year we run Wiki Loves um, uh, Folklore, as well as Wiki Loves Earth and Wiki Loves Monuments, the, the popular photo contests. Uh, the Wiki Loves Folklore and Wiki Loves Earth we've introduced in the last two years. But for Wiki Loves Monuments, it's how we started. So this was our eighth year of running uh, Wiki Loves Monuments. We are uh, also quite keen on this idea of CEE Spring, where, where the different affiliates around Central and Eastern Europe come together once a year in springtime to, uh, to have an article writing contest where they write about each other's subjects. So people in Malta at this time write about uh, uh, subjects relating to um, Ukraine, Poland, Austria, the Czech Republic, uh, Romania, and, and the 28 or 29 other uh, countries and languages involved in this. I'm wondering whether a model of something like this could, for example, be something that people would be interested in, in exploring. Uh, we are also involved in a language project, and that is to say, to grow the small language that is, that is Maltese, uh, the Maltese language Wikipedia, has existed since uh, 2004, 2005. Uh, there's also a Maltese Wiktionary. The Maltese Wiktionary is uh, fairly dormant, really. But uh, the Wikipedia was also dormant for a while until this uh, uh, user group that I'm representing here today kind of uh, took it on to itself to uh, vitalize it, shall we say. Um, I was going to say revitalize it, but uh, prior to uh, to this activity that I've just mentioned. So in the first 10 or 15 years that the Maltese language Wikipedia existed, it only had about two to 3,000 articles. Now, in the last five years, we've doubled the number of articles and we're close to having 6,000 articles, which I think is, is quite a, a healthy growth given the site of the community. Why do I mention this? Of course, this uh, is a parallel 
to the many other so-called small languages, perhaps, you know, across across the continent here. And so in some ways, knowledge sharing about, you know, how, how we approach uh, so-called smaller language uh, Wikipedias uh, could be could be another another uh, way to to approach this. So to go back to the question about the aim of, of the workshop, and this is where I turn it over to you, of course, because uh, this is where it stops being a presentation for me, and we start explicit the beginning, perhaps, of something that may work, may not work, may just be, I don't know, uh, what they call a harebrained idea, uh, just just the thought of something that could happen. If it does happen, it's fantastic. If it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. But uh, the basic question is, is, what can we do? That is to say, one or more of you and us together, what can we do to develop this? And so, in, in essence, the, the even more pointed question is, who is interested in collaborating with us in exploring what can be done and if there is a possibility to develop this? Now, I don't expect that to happen during this workshop, of course. You know, I'm around the rest of the day, I'm around all day tomorrow. There's this little thing called the internet uh, by which we can communicate over the coming uh, weeks and months. But I, I'm happy to engage with you uh, on this now. So uh, that's more or less uh, what I had hoped we would do in a slightly different space than this, uh, this morning. And um, it, we were allocated half an hour, but I don't think we need to take the whole time, especially as I know uh, that there was meant to be another uh, presentation at 10.30. Okay, so I, I, I'm happy to take a minute or two for anyone who wants to at least react to this without perhaps committing yourself to saying, yes, I want to you know, have a, a meaningful conversation with you about this. What do you think? Do you think this is something that could take wings and fly, as uh, the expression goes? Or is this something that's, um, that's perhaps you know, uh, too, too uh, abstract an idea for anything to come about from it. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you for the uh, presentation. Um, I, 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 as we already talked, so I, I find this uh, one quite fascinating. I've been to Malta before, and uh, as a native speaker of, uh, of Moroccan uh, dialects, uh, a, a lot of the street signs and everything was a bit quite understandable. Not everything, of course. Uh, Maltese has lots of influence also from Italian, I think. And uh, over some other sources, which uh, like uh, I don't know about, but um, th there is lots of uh, uh, mutual intelligibility, I would say, uh, with North African dialects, and uh, uh, it's a shame that a lot of North Africans don't know about this. And I think most of these people, many of them, don't know yes, how similar. That's, uh, that's exactly right. Uh, you know, and that's that's where that map came from. You know, I mean, the this map. This is this is a map from Wikimedia Commons. So if you look for you know Arab language spread. The dark green is is where Arabic is the predominant language. The lighter green is where Arabic is a secondary language. And uh, Alt is right in the middle at the top of all that. And so again, you know, it is one of several Semitic languages, not only Arabic, of course, Hebrew, Amharic, uh, but it is the only. Uh, but I think this is why you could read the signs. It is the only Semitic language that is written in the Latin alphabet. That's to say A, B, C, or whatever other uh, script there could be for it. So, uh, what do you think then? I definitely see many venues for uh, collaboration. Um, I mean, we, uh, we, we have, for example, the, the Moroccan Arabic uh, Wikipedia, for instance, and uh, um, uh, and it's also a small Wikipedia, so there. Are, I think there's lots of uh, venues for to exchange experience in, ter in terms of how to develop uh, small Wikipedias. And I imagine also in Africa there are lots of uh, languages with the small Wikipedias, which also could uh, mutually benefit from uh, collaboration with uh, with the multi Wikipedia and, and with each other. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we can find many ways we can collaborate in, in this in this matter. You made an interesting point about the the Italian connection, and this of course because you know one of the ideas within, within uh, this, this proposed goal, if you will, is to bridge into Europe and, and bring back, even, you know, so back and forth uh, to a bridge, is 
is the, the, the connection is with another dialect that uh, you will find uh, perhaps in, in some of the coastal areas in Tunisia, which is uh, Sikolo Arabic. So this is a, a, it's a mixture of Sicilian, the Sicilian dialect, and by the way, there is Sicilian uh, language with the uh, But the Sikolo Arabic is, is, the, is the dialect in, within Sicily that is closest to the Maltese language in the way that perhaps, you know, some of the North African dialects of Arabic perhaps still share vocabulary, definitely share grammar to, to a large degree. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, that could be, that could be one perspective, you know. So I'm, I'm happy to explore this further with you. Asa, you. Uh, I wanted to suggest that the uh, linguistic similarity may be a bit of a distraction here. Uh, you're talking about cultural exchange yeah. and the model of CE Spring, they don't share languages, they, they do across languages. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You don't need to have a similar dialect to have a project between African communities and Malta and Europe. Uh, what you need is people interested in writing articles. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, and, and I think uh, that's the key. Uh, and I'm, I'm not an African comedian to, to answer your question directly, but I'm suggesting that what we're looking for is people who are organizers of African communities who would be interested in, among the many other campaigns and programs going on, who would be interested in uh, uh, applying their group into such a program uh, of article writing. Yes. And that is not the focus of all groups, right? There's many no. groups that are focused on photos and quotes and other uh, uh, editing uh, activities that are less demanding than article writing. No. So, yeah, that's what you need to look for, is what I'm saying. Yes, I mean, in, in fact, you for, 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 for that point, Asaf, I, I think what I would definitely add to that, it could even be a narrower focus. So, for example, you know, with, with uh, the Wikimedians in Morocco, we know that, again, you know, in, in collaboration with uh, our colleagues in Tunisia and others, this, this wonderful user group on, on World Heritage Sites has been created. And indeed, if you were to look at which categories in the Maltese language Wikipedia are best developed, you will be surprised, or maybe not so surprised to find, that it is uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So, uh, it, you know, it could very well be that the, uh, this idea is developed around World Heritage Sites uh, in the region, but also beyond the region. Yeah, to, to, truly show what a, what, not only what a global concept Wikipedia really is, but also what a global concept. The World Heritage Site uh, idea is. I mean, uh, the countries with the largest number of World Heritage Sites in the world are China and Italy. And uh, so that, that would be also rather interesting. Did I see on the hand? Yes. Thank you very much, um, Alvin. I wanted more clarification on uh, the sort of partnership you're talking about uh, because like in Uganda we've documented literally like every every monument and participated in Wikipedia uh, pages wanting photos and written almost all the articles. So if there is a sort of collaboration maybe you want uh, we'll be able to write about monuments in Malta. We could be happy to do that. Uh, I wanted more clarification on the kind of thinking. No, that, that's that's a very good question. I mean, my my I have two responses to that. My immediate response is I'm not sure. I don't know yet. I haven't uh, spent enough time yet thinking and discussing this, uh, thinking about this by myself and discussing this with others, and so thinking about it with others. However, having said that, I I, I think. And the the overlaps are are what 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 may need to be or the potential overlaps are what may need to be uh, explored as a possible you know fertile ground. I mean, as has made a, a, a really really important point about not necessarily the linguistic aspect you know, but but perhaps even a cultural perspective relating to not only as I said uh, the. Uh, World Heritage Sites 
as an example, but for example, you know, the uh, decolonizing Wikipedia uh, is another perspective. So interestingly, you know, you, you mentioned this uh, built heritage within Uganda, and most of which will have been built by uh, the former colonial masters, uh, so to speak, which uh, is also, of course, the case in, in, in many of the other regions that we would be looking at, including Malta. You know, I mean, uh, there are uh, some notable exceptions, but for the most part, uh, the, this, this would be a similar thing. So I, I think this is where I, in the first instance for myself, need to do some more thinking, but also where I'm opening myself up completely to these conversations to go on, you know, over, over the tea break, over, over lunch, over uh, dinner, uh, a couple of days that we're here and into the coming uh, weeks and months. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Sharing something based on my understanding, and I wanted to ask if you have anything on superstitions in Malta, and because I know very well that where I come from, there are lots of superstitions, and so maybe that could be an area we could look for. Yeah, there, there are. I mean, superstitions you'll find in, I would expect, almost every culture, if not every culture. And so, uh, uh, these would relate uh, possibly to something like Wikilove's folklore program. And as we know, uh, uh, Wikilove's folklore is both a photo contest, and related to it is also the very broadly named feminism and folklore uh, essay writing or, or article writing contest. Uh, really. And uh, the, uh, the article writing contest it is a bit misleading because people think it's about uh, subjects in folklore relating to feminism or that it's about uh, folklore aspects of feminism, but actually it's two subjects brought together in a way that isn't necessarily connected. At least this is how I've understood it. So focusing on uh, superstition and, and traditional beliefs that perhaps are, um, 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 you know, part of uh, some spiritual beliefs or religious beliefs even, or even go beyond that. Uh, yes, that, that could, for example, you know, be, uh, I don't know, uh, an article writing contest that is, is, is where the focus is in relation to this example, instead of focusing on, uh, on, on world heritage sites or focusing on, on the uh, colonially built uh, world heritage, uh, built, built, built heritage sites, you know, we, we could, uh, the, yes, absolutely, I mean, you know, there's room for all that in, in Wikipedia and more, needless to say. So, okay, we'll make a mental note of that. I'm, I'm mindful of time, so I'm going to take just one more and stop, uh, and, and then uh, we'll leave it to the next person. As I say, please do approach me outside this session. Yeah, and, and I'm happy to engage and explore how we potentially develop this. Okay, so um, you talked about the Maltese language, that the language group for Maltese, it went um, down a bit. I just want to find out, um, as a result of it going down, and it has been revived, how long has it been so far that the language community around Maltese working on it to grow the language very well? That's what I so the, the, uh, the user group has been focusing on the Maltese, the Maltese user group has been focusing on the Maltese language only since just before COVID. Before there were individuals who were contributing uh, in a way that they, they never came forward or made themselves known or reached out to uh, organize themselves in any way or through any uh, editathon or meetup or anything like that. There was no there was no community. There were individuals. The Maltese language Wikipedia was started by an American student at the University of Malta who was learning Maltese, and as a as a as a project for his uh, postgraduate uh, studies, he decided to uh, install uh, the, or create the Maltese language Wikipedia. It sat there with just a few hundred articles on it, most of which were stubs for many years. Uh, he was also the person who uh, he then was involved in getting the Maltese characters into Unicode, for example. Uh, eventually he went to work for IBM uh, as part of this, so that was his portfolio. 
So, uh, oh, so I hope that answers your question, you know, in that the growth has only happened recently, and that's why a question like this, you know, can come up now, because there is a community of people who are perhaps interested in exploring how, how we grow this. Okay, I'm going to stop here, otherwise we'll go over time with this one as well. Uh, thank you so much, and I do look forward to further conversation. Ten minutes tea break. Oh, is it a ten minute tea break? Yeah, we have ten minutes tea break, and then we have the next session. Okay. Yeah. Uh,